So cold and wet today. Gotta put this fire on. It feels like a storm out there. I feel sorry for him. Must be hard sleeping out there. No shelter. No food. I guess we're both surviving. I can hear the, the wolf crying. Seems like he's hurt. Maybe I should go and see. I feel bad. It sounds closer. I'm scared. What if he attacks me? I just want to help. Here he is. Hey, now, now, boy, now, now. I'm not gonna hurt you. It's okay. Here, I have some food for you. This fish? Was that nice? Come here. Let me get closer. Come here, boy. I'll look after you. There we go. It's okay. You're just cold and hungry, right? Like me. It's nice to have somebody here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna call you Wilson. Wilson the wolf. Oh no, damn monsters. I'll save you, Wilson. Get away. Leave him alone. It's okay, Wilson, you're safe. It's late, but I'm going to build you a shelter, somewhere to stay. I don't think there's any room in the trailer for the both of us. Come with me. <laughs> whoa, boy, whoa. You trust me so soon? Yes. Let's go, Wilson. Shark Army, it's your boy Sharky, and welcome back to another video. We are back in my Survival Island series. This is the next chapter or episode, and as you can see from the intro there, we have finally come face to face with the intruder who stole our food a long time ago. But it is a wolf, a lone wolf, he is on his own, and uh, yeah, we felt sorry for him. He's been out in the cold, he's hungry, and we managed to tame him and keep him as a pet, and he's on the island with us. From now on, we have somebody to keep us company. Let's go and say hello to him. It is a very cold and stormy day today. I do have a new feature in the game. If we spend a lot of time out in the rain, as you can see, we will drain stamina. It's very slowly. It will go down, I think it's one every 10 minutes or something like that. But we do need to take shelter in order to get rid of that buff. We can be by the fire and we can also craft umbrellas or some kind of hat which will keep us from getting drenched. But we're gonna need to eat some breakfast first thing before we say hello to Wilson. I have named him Wilson. Obviously, if you guys have ever seen the film Castaway, this is what inspired me to do this series because I do love that film, it's one of my favorites. We can't cook today because it's, because it's raining. So what I'm gonna do is just go and eat something because we are taking a big hit right now with our hunger. Oh no, as you can see, some of the food has wasted and it's turned into trash. That is not good at all. We've not got much food as well. Now, one thing I will say, away from the Survivor series, I've been having a lot of problems with mods because Stardew Valley got updated. There was an update for it, which meant Smappy also got updated as well. Oh, look at all the stuff wasted. So yeah, I had to get all the mods updated back in again and it did mess up uh, a lot of the items that we had. We lost a lot of things fruit and vegetables. I've had to skip a few days to get things sorted for the intro as well. So yeah, a lot of things I've wasted. But one good thing, I have changed how long it takes for food and things like that to waste. Our egg is still there. What we're gonna need to hatch is looking good. We've got some dried salmon berry that I'm gonna eat today. All of the f uh, fruit and veg will take a little bit longer to, to waste now. We've not got much to eat. I've got a portobello mushroom here, I've got a leek. And we've got the dried salmon berry. Let's eat that as well. 
that should keep us going. Obviously, we did build a stable as well for Wilson. So we've lost a 10,000 gold. We just hit 10k uh, harvest goddess coins. And sadly, we have used all of them. And also, we did use 100 hardwood. So we've now only got 38 left. So we've not got much resources left. There is Wilson. Looking amazing. There's a little white, like... Snow Wolf or something like that is beautiful. We can ride him as well because we are friendly with him. And uh, this is going to be a good addition on the island. Right, we've got some crops to harvest. What have we managed to get? Garden Balsam. I don't know what that is. Some cotton balls. Now, the UI Info Suite mod is currently not working. This is basically a mod where you can highlight over things. It tells you how long they've got to grow, what kind of crop it is. Gives you lots of, lots of information. Um, and that's not working, but I think I'm going to keep it this way. It's nice to... You know, be surprised by a fruit and vegetable when you're harvesting it and you don't know what it is and you, you have to wait to see what it is when you harvest it. So, you know what? I am going to keep that uh, as part of the game. We're not going to have this mod that shows us everything. So, we've got a poppy flower. We can actually eat this as well. We've got another flower here, a Korean one. We've got a spice berry fruit. We've got a burdock root. Very, very good. Nutritious. Look at that. Some more flowers here. Right, the cotton ball. I think we can use that to, to make cotton. So, that might be a good item just to keep... And one day we might be able to process it. This spice berry I'm actually going to put into the dryer. We're going to dehydrate this spice berry. There we go. And we're also going to need some kind of herb or something to dry. This is going to preserve items, make them last a lot longer. So what can we do? Can't put forage in. We do have some bamboo. I wonder if we can preserve that. It's a vegetable. It already gives you quite a good amount of energy and health. So if we dry this and preserve it, make it last longer. This might be quite tasty, I have no idea. Let's put one in. Yeah, that will work. Have we got anything else we can harvest? We've got another spice berry. Oh, a fragrant lilac, another flower. Very, very nice. Now we do have a seed maker. So what I could do is start putting some of these fruit into there to get the saplings. Uh, and this is gonna be quite good to make fruit trees and then we can put them into our little orchid. So let's do the black cherry. Oh, is that not working? Oh, maybe we can't use that one. What other fruit could we use to make a sapling? We've got a melon or some juniper berries. Maybe this mod's broken. We was able to put fruit into the seed maker and get... Uh, oh, crap, I've just set the lemon. Oh, there we go. So some fruits can. So we have got the juniper berry in there. So we should be able to get that tree. Juniper berries are not bad. It's a winter one as well. So we can get these in winter. We can ferment them into gin or just eat them on their own. We'll keep trying all the fruit that we get. Okay, so let's see. Oh, it's already done. We've got, okay, the juniper berry seed. So I thought <laughs> juniper berry, I thought it was a sapling. So I've got a funny feeling. We cannot put the saplings or the fruit into saplings yet. I might have to change that mod, see what's going on. But we do have a few seeds, as you can see. So I will put that into there. We've got one sapling already. We've got the avocado. Is dragon fruit growing trees? I have no idea. Okay, well, it's going in there anyway. <laughs> Let's do some foraging around. We've got to be careful. Our energy is draining. Oh, we got an oyster. Not a bad day. Oh, oh my God, we got bananas. We actually got a banana tree grow here. This has been growing for a long time. Oh, this flower. Look at this tree. This is from the goddess. A divine flower from the harvest goddess. Oh my god, look at the buff that it gives you. The energy in the elf, the farming, fishing, mining look. Everything gives you a short buff of everything for a few seconds. A delicate blue flower that bloomed on the tree of enlightenment. It appears to be comprised of blue light. These flowers are said to contain the elements needed to attain immortality. These things are incredible. This is the Harvest Goddess tree. This has been growing since the very start and it seems like it gives you a few flowers every day and they give you a short buff. Let's try one. One minutes and 20 seconds. Look at the buff. We are so fast. We are so strong. Now we need to keep hold of these. These could be very good in the mines when we need them the most. Maybe we could even give them back to the goddess and maybe we should get some good money for them. But they are crazy, crazy flowers. I feel so good taking them. The sapling's done as well, as well. So we did get the dragon fruit sapling. What about a fig? We can put that in there as well. Oh my god, we're so fast. They are overpowered. Maybe I shouldn't eat them too much. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bananas. I definitely want to put a banana into the sapling maker as well. Having a banana tree in the orchid is going to be awesome. Oh my god, that is insane. Right, okay, we've got the fig. 
a fig sapling, that's going to be awesome as well. We just need one of everything, really. So we've got avocado, dragon fruit, and a fig. I'm doing the banana right now. Maybe we can get melons, on, obviously, on trees. So we'll see what else we can do. We can check the pigeon today. And we got, oh, some gooseberry seeds. We can plant them in summer. That is not bad. And we also got the banana sapling. So there's the banana one. And the gooseberry saplings are summer seed. Uh, oh, we're actually in summer right now. So why don't we just plant those? There we go. Let's do some more foraging. Shall we take... Let's take Wilson. Oh, he's so fast. We have got the buff. So I think what I want to do next in the next project is build some kind of cooking hut. This is what I'm after. All we need is 100 uh, goddess coins to do this, which we currently haven't got, and 10 stone. And I'm going to build this somewhere. I have to try and think of a nice place. Somewhere that we can put all of our cooking stuff into. Have a little kitchen, cooking stove. And maybe it could be a little cooking hut and we've got a space you know put loads of chests in there storage or refrigerators keep all our food in there so we don't have to store it in this trailer because we've not got much space but i do need a very very good space for this we've got a coop ready for the incubator we need to get to level four farming which we are one away and this is going to allow us to hatch the egg in the incubator we can craft one a cooking hut where could we put one somewhere here would be very very nice I'm not sure if we're going to have enough space for this though. Right, come on Wilson, it's getting dark. We need to keep you inside of your little stable shelter. Get out of this rain. I'm taking a big hit here for the energy. We'll keep you all safe in there. Let's put the wood away. I think I'm going to do some fishing. I'm running very low on food right now. So I'm going to catch as many fish as I can before the night ends. Be careful of my energy and my hunger. And I'm going to start cooking away some fish. Maybe give something to the goddess so we can get 100 goddess coins so we can make this cooking hut. It's so nice to have Wilson with us. I don't feel lonely anymore. I can talk to him. What's this? A stonefish. That is awesome. It's iridium quality. That's going to last a very long time. The higher the quality, the longer the food lasts. We've got a chest here. I could do with getting this. I might find something good in there. This is a hard fish to catch though. No! I lost a fish and a treasure chest. That is not good. We are in again. This is not as feisty. Oh, there's another chest popped straight up, though. Must be a good luck day today. We have got a bullhead. Please be something good. Oh, an iron lamppost. A bee house. We can get honey outside, just not winter. That is incredible. A bean starter for spring and a rice shoot. What an amazing chest that is. Iridium stonefish I could give to the goddess. I don't really want it. We can't eat it because it's like a brick. And I don't really want it in the the fish tank. So I'm going to give that to the goddess. Bullhead as well is worth some good money. Now let's give her the seaweed too. Is there anything else we can give her? Right, the bee house is awesome. This this could be such a good addition to the, the island here. Now if we could put this somewhere here. This might be able to produce some honey from the flowers that we grow. We've got a lamppost as well. This could give us some light. That is beautiful. I love those chests. Right, let's put the seeds away. Uh, the rice is spring along also with the bean starter. But it's something for next year. After winter, we're going to need it. It's getting late. I think I'm going to start a new day. Hopefully the rain disappears. And this thunder that we're having. Good night, Wilson. You get some good sleep. I know it's cold out there, but at least you've got something over your head. A little bit of shelter. You got some water, some food. I think he's going to be okay. Wow, that thunder. Okay, we've got enough to build the cooking hut. This is going to be a good project today. Just need 10 stone. Very easy. I'm excited for this. Oh, a beautiful day today. I'm glad the rain's ended in the storm. Let's get my watering can. We can water the crops today. We have got a wax bean that has been uh, ready to harvest today. Oh, we get you good energy. Let's fill up the watering can. I'll check the pigeon as well. Let's see what you've got for me today. Ooh. Honeysuckle starters, spring and summer. These are flowers. Now, oh, hold on a second. Right, let me finish watering these crops. We could use those to maybe get some honeysuckle honey. That's a tongue twister. So if I dig them there, if we can put those... They're all going to be on a trellis. 
And then if we take this flamingo, we're going to keep you somewhere else. You could be a friend for Wilson. There we go, Wilson. you got a friend. Let's take this bee house and we'll put you there. And hopefully you can produce some uh, flavoured honey. And that's going to be delicious to eat on the island. And the goddess is going to appreciate that as well. Wow. I think I'm going to do some foraging today. Let's put away some of our vegetables here. The wax bean, I think I'm going to definitely dry that maybe. Is anything going to waste? No, we should be okay. I think we're fine for a few things. We might need to eat something though. So the black cherry is going to be something we have today. There we go. Back up. Energy is high. The energy is gradually going to fill up. We've got some food in the belly. I'm going to put my watering can away today. Right, Wilson. I'm going to go and do some foraging. I'm going to see if we can find anything for us today. Maybe do some fishing again. What are these here? Oh, is that a dig spot as well? Okay, we've got some clay and... Hot peppers! Fruit! Oh, nice! I love hot peppers. They're going to be delicious. I could add them to recipes. Using our new cookbook. Maybe I can cook something beautiful with those. Let's see if I can build a little cooking house or hut here. I could maybe go with this one. Or should we go with a stone one? This looks very nice. I'm going to go with this. Okay, we can have it there, but I'm not going to be able to walk. We need more space. What about somewhere here? Yes. Perfect. This is going to be my little cookhouse. Ah, empty, but this is beautiful. This should be perfect to use for storage, cooking. I've even made a little bed here, so I could always sleep here if I wanted to. Need to furnish this place up, make it convenient. Let's see what I can do. It's very foggy tonight, but let's take a look at the new cooking house. It took me all day to build this. Use lots of resources, but I'm happy. Got a fireplace to keep warm. I've got a bed if I want to sleep here. We've got a little kitchen area if I want to cook food. All I need is to build lots of chests for storage and I can keep lots of my food in here, nice and safe. The fog's cleared and I've got some dried spice berry. That should be good, nice and preserved. It's gonna last a long time. This is something I can keep inside of my cooking house. Let's get some wood and I'll build some chests. It's dark down here, I could do with crafting some torches. Maybe a path, the grass slows me down. Lots of storage. I think I'm going to bring the dehydrator and the drying rack inside. I'll be using these a lot to cook, so let's put them inside here to keep safe. They won't get damaged from the weather. Drying rack, dehydrator. We've got some dried bamboo. You can no longer eat those, so it's better not to dry them. That could be for the goddess. I need to bring all the food and keep it into the house. Instead of the trailer. Luckily, I can pick these chests up with all the stuff inside. I don't need to worry about emptying them first. So I've got my fruit in here, the vegetables in here. These are all my dried stuff. It's coming along nicely. Let's sleep. I'm so tired today. I also built a little fish tank. I'd love to get a pet fish in here. Oh, it was quite cozy sleeping in here last night. I'm hungry today again. I need a big meal here. I'm going to dry this melon. I need to bring the cookout kits over into the cooking shelter. Put a torch here as well to light this up. It's very dark down here at night. I'm going to do some fishing today. Get lots of fish to cook up because I'm running low on big food. Good morning, Wilson. Let's do some fishing today. I need to water these crops too, but I'm very weak. I need food. I've got something to harvest here. Some of those flowers. Oh, what's this? The red cabbage. It's ready today. That's going to be delicious to cook up. A pink cake. Oh my god, I need to eat this right now. Oh, That is the tastiest thing ever. And I've still got a slice left. I've only had a little bit. I'll save the rest for later, but look at that energy. Thanks, pigeon. You saved my life. Oh, I feel so much better after that. Let's get the bananas today. Is there anything else we can forage? Let's check the cave. I've not checked this in a while. 
We've got a spice berry and a yuzu. A citrus fruit, aromatic. Okay. I need to go and put all this in the storage so I've got more space. I remembered as well, I can now craft a better backpack, right? I am level 5 foraging, which means I can get a better backpack, carry more items. This is going to be so important. Let me do this. Oh, that is much better. I can carry more items now. So, it looks like we've got some blackberries. We've got another breadfruit, and is this a kiwi? Oh, kiwi and a salmon berry. Oh, just what we needed today. We are running low on food, so I'll take that right now. This is all going to go to waste, so we've got to make sure we eat it. But we've got a good place to store it now. We've got some seaweed. Let's get this dig spot. Ooh, a rusty spur. Maybe the uh, the goddess will have that. It seems like some kind of artifact. But there's lots of things around here on the islands, on the beach. That's washed up. This place has history, for sure. Let's have a look around. What's, oh, what's this behind here? Lavender? Oregano? Some herbs. That is amazing. Let's check this cave. There's nothing here today. Our energy's looking okay. So we don't need to take a dip in there. What about on this side? Any coconuts? Oh, I see something there. Yep. We got three coconuts today. Might be able to split those open. Something to eat. There's not much more here though. Lots of trees. It's hard to walk through here. Let's put these back into the cookhouse and... I'll store them away. Maybe I can cook something up, but I still do need to do some fishing today. Okay, let's do this. Put the pink cake on the table. It's delicious. Okay. Let's see what I can cook up and get this cooking skill higher. I'm gonna give this rusty spur to the goddess. I also need all of this fish stuff. Store this in the cookhouse. I need to smelt some more ore, so let's put some more copper on the go here. I want to keep that pro production going. Come on, Wilson. Okay, I'll keep all the fish in there that's uncooked, and then anything that's cooked can go into that one there. Can we cook any fish? The slime jack's nearly wasting away. Maybe I could just turn it into food. I think that's the best thing to do. Hmm, it doesn't let me cook inside this house because it's got no kitchen. This needs to get upgraded. But I could use it for storage right now. This can be where all my food goes. Maybe one time I can get cooking in here. But for now, I can only cook outside or in the trailer. Let's cook. No, I burnt it. Damn it. Please, don't burn all of it. Oh, that's better. One more. Oh, I've got two out of that. The rest is burnt. Two out of three, not too bad. I think I'm getting better. I can still produce food in here with the dehydrator, drying rack, maybe the smoker for the fish, if we can craft that just yet. I need 10 iron bars for this. I need to work hard on getting some iron. Do I have three iron bar? I could maybe make bread. Let's go and see. Fresh bread sounds amazing. That would be a good source of fiber and carbs for energy. We don't have any iron. I need to get deeper into the mines for that. We only have copper right now. I need to advance a lot more. Let's go fishing, catch lots of food here. This is a big fish. Come on, let's get it. This could give us lots of food. Oh, oh it's another void salmon. Oh my god, look at this fish! A spook fish! Oh, that was creepy. Oh my god, a midnight squid. This thing looks awesome. Oh, this is a big fish. Another one. Fishing at night time. We get all kinds of fish. It makes you wonder what is living in this ocean. Come on. Uh, quick. Oh. Oh, a lingcod. Powerful fish. We've got lots of good stuff there. Let's do some more cooking, maybe. The sardine, very low valuable fish. 
Also the bream. Yes, we didn't burn any this time. Right, I've stored some fish. I'll give the rest of these weird looking fish to the goddess. We have to share around here. Right, where's Wilson? He needs to go to bed. Oh no. Oh, mixed seeds. I'll take that. Wilson! Where's Wilson? Oh no, where is he? I'm hungry again. Wilson! No, no, not like this. He can't run away. He's happy here. Oh my god, where is he? Ah, oh, I'm hungry, I'm slow. Leave me alone. No, 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 Wilson, Wilson, he's not here. I left him by the house. By the fire, he's gone. Oh no, please come back. Please come back, Wilson. I need you. Don't leave me on my own again. <laughs> 